Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you some modern high-end wall art ideas and they're of course easy and budget friendly. Let's go ahead and get started. DIY number one. For this project I'm going to be using this frame from the Dollar Tree. I previously used it and painted it white but um, you can use any frame that you have. First I'm going to take this cardboard box from cereal and the glass from the frame and trace it out and cut it out. After that, I'm taking this Waverly chalk paint in a color ink and I will give this cardboard one full coat. Then I'm gonna leave it to dry. While it's drying, I'm going to take this leaf that I found on our walk and I will paint it. Now I'm gonna be using this mixture of paint that I actually uh, created by using uh, Rust-Oleum chalk paint in a linen white color and I added a few drops of this pavement which is dark gray acrylic paint and then baking soda. I gave it a first coat. I went um, over, I wanted it to be a full coverage and then I left it to dry. While uh, my leaf was drying, I'm taking the frame and I'm giving it one uh, good coat of this same paint mixture. I wanted um, that uh, cement looking uh, paint to show, show through. Now when my uh, leaf was almost dried, I'm uh, going with this chippy brush and I am um, creating kind of a leaf lines. You see what I'm doing over here. Now that everything is dried, I am going to add a little bit of hot glue on the back of this leaf and uh, put it in the middle of the black um, canvas piece. And then I'm going to attach it to the back of the frame and then I'm going to assemble the frame completely. Now over here you see me um, adding the glass, but later on when I showed you how everything turned out, I took the um, glass part off because there was no way that I could film it without uh, having a reflection in that frame and you wouldn't have a perfect um, picture, uh, you wouldn't have a perfect idea how this picture turned out. So I took it off but um, right after filming this I put it back on. So this is how it turned out. I think it is so beautiful, very elegant, very high-end. Um, and I love, love that cement fixture. It makes it so modern. That is so in right now. And you saw how inexpensive it was to make and very, very easy. Tell me what you think about this one. For all of you that are part of my channel for a long time, thank you so much for being here. I am so happy to have you. I appreciate your support. And for all of you that are new, welcome. I'm Yelena, stay-at-home mom of two kids that love, love crafting and doing DIY projects. Everything that I do is on a budget. I do mostly rustic and farmhouse style, but I'm exploring a little more and I started doing something like this, like this video, uh, modern style, and I wanted to see what you think about that one. So if you like my videos, please go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. DIY in number two. For this project, I'm gonna be using this Dollar Tree canvas. I had this for a while and uh, I'm going to go ahead and take off the hanging part, jutwine, and then I'm gonna um, gently pull out all the staples. I really wanted this frame to be uh, perf in perfect shape, not a ruined. Now that I have everything on, I'm just tracing the frame and cutting out uh, the canvas part. And then even though it's white, I'm gonna give it one good coat of uh, this Rust-Oleum chalk made in a linen white color. I thought it looks better and give it some kind of a texture. I'm gonna also give it one coat uh, on the back just to cover that um, part as well. Now I'm gonna take this mixture that I showed you earlier, but I added a few more drops of that um, uh, gray paint just to make it a little bit darker. Now I'm putting the frame on just to make a few dots on each side to know how far I can go with my painting. Next, I'm taking the fine brush and I'm starting to paint. I'm painting uh, the lines, but I'm making them thicker because I wanted that, again, cement texture to uh, show. So I'm, uh, with the lines, I'm creating a pot, a flower pot. 
So you will see in just a second um, that actually it's starting to look like a pot. Now, uh, when I have this part done, I'm taking my pencil and I'm drawing a few lines um, that are just for me to know where I should add the leaves. Now I'm taking this Waverly chalk paint in a color moss and my uh, brush and I am creating a stem first and I am then adding the leaves. This is, again, totally uh, optional. You can paint it if you want. I love painting and I enjoy it. Or you can use stencil if you have or a printout picture really optional but i really like painting and it is not so hard as it may look like now i'm taking this a celery chalk paint by waverly and i am um, creating another stem and i'm painting those leaves as well and i'm going to do the same thing with the third one and then i am going back to the moss color and i am going to add a few more leaves that are going kind of um, across um, of the lighter ones and I'm also going to shade those lighter ones as well. I thought that gave it very very nice dimension. dimension. When this was done I'm going to attach this frame uh, adding a few dots of hot glue in the back. I didn't want to paint this frame I thought this is almost like a cork looking frame was just perfect and so modern. I am in love with this piece. I mean, it was so hard to pick my favorite, but I would probably say this one because I love painting so much and I think it turned out so, so beautiful. I would like to hear from you. What do you think about this one? Is there anything you would change or add? And any suggestion, I, I would like to hear them. If you're on a social media, please uh, come and look for me. I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Come and say hi. Also, I wanted to remind you that my regular upload times are Tuesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Unless something changes, I'm going to go ahead and let you know in advance. Let's go and start with DIY number three. For this project, I'm going to be using this sign from the Dollar Tree. I will um, cut out um, nine by nine square it was already uh, the nine inches width so i just cut out these little pieces on the side um, i used that used my uh, box cutter and my um, ruler i just scored a few times and just snapped right out i cut off the excess and that's it now uh, when i cut this out um, i have nine by nine big one and then another one seven by seven i already these are all from the dollar tree signs now i'm just gonna sand the edges a little bit and then um, I'm going to go ahead and start painting. I'm using um, this ink uh, chalk paint by Waverly and I'm going to give it one coat. Now I wanted to originally just paint a, like a frame, let's say around, not the middle. But since I poured a little more uh, paint that I wanted, so I went ahead and painted all. While that was drying, I'm taking uh, this mixture of um or Stolium chalk paint in a linen white color and this speckling from the Dollar Tree. And then um, I'm gonna take this white mini um, seven by seven square uh, piece and I'm gonna give um, this white, I mean one um, coat. So after that, I'm gonna attach these leaves that I got uh, off of branches again from our walk. And when everything was uh, stuck to, when the leaves were stuck to the surface, I went ahead and um, took more of this mixture and I um, just painted over it. I painted um, a few times and then when I was completely happy how it looks like, I left it to dry a little bit. Now I didn't want it to dry completely. I made sure it was still tacky and then I'm taking this um, chippy brush from the Dollar Tree and I'm going over leaves. leaves. I wanted to create that leaf, leaves line on them similar to the first project. And then I'm just cleaning out uh, around 
the surface and then when everything was done this is how it looks like now i'm just gonna add a few dabs of hot glue on the back of that white piece and attach it to the black one and that's gonna be it for this project what I love about this project, it was first how easy it was to create, second how inexpensive, and the third how beautiful and modern looking it looks. I love the contrast. I love um, that again cement look. I'm hooked on it. I'm gonna do a lot of projects uh, looking like this. But tell me if you liked it, uh, and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it. And if you're new, I would love for you to subscribe. It would mean so much to me. And don't forget to click on notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Now, there was a lucky mistake, let's say. When I was putting this away, I kind of peeled off one part. And when I peeled it off, um, I looked underneath and looked so beautiful. So I wanted to show you how it looks without leaves. So just a leaf print. And I think it also looks so pretty. I cannot decide which one of this looks better so i wanted to show you both this is more subtle but certainly still beautiful now that you saw all three tell me which one of this was your favorite and would you recreate any of these thank you so much for being here uh, i appreciate you all and i'll see you in my next video bye guys